Something we try to do is carry multi-use items in our bobs to save on weight. Because of that, a lot of us don't carry spices in our bobs because they're seen as a single-use item. In today's video, I have some surprising ways that spices can have multiple uses to both season your food and your health. Cayenne pepper. It is an anti-irritant and it can help ease upset stomachs. It's also an antibacterial and an excellent way to preserve foods from bacterial contamination. Also, you can sprinkle it on cuts or lacerations and it can help stop or help the bleeding to clot. Internally, it can be used to help ulcers and there's been some studies done that say ulcers of the stomach are actually due to an infection in your stomach. So, it's an antibacterial, it'd be great. When you go to plant your garden, after shit has fan, things calm down, and you really start to dig in at one spot to garden, cayenne pepper can be used as a plant antifungal. It will kill off some plant pathogens, fungal pathogens. Another thing that cayenne pepper can be used for is migraine prevention. Um, it basically, because of the pain in your mouth, it will distract you from the pain in your head, literally. It has also been said to be an anti-allergen and may even relieve some allergies. Cayenne pepper is also a digestive aid. It can increase the flow of enzyme production and gastric juices to help you digest whatever food you can find. Um, provided that that food is full of toxins, um, cayenne pepper will help your body digest the food and any toxins found in it. It has also been said to be helpful for relieving internal gas. If you're out on the road and you're having a hard time finding an abundance of water and you have this dry mouth you can't get rid of. Cayenne pepper will help you produce saliva in your mouth. Cayenne pepper is also great for preventing or even treating tooth decay and gum diseases. Number two, cinnamon. Cinnamon can help control bl blood sugar in those with type 2 diabetes. Um, also, irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. As a tea, cinnamon will dramatically reduce the uncomfortable feelings with IBS, especially bloating. Cinnamon tea will also work on upset stomachs or even stomach cramps. Cinnamon is also a antibacterial and makes a great disinfectant. Cinnamon can also be used as a food preservative and proven effective in an 
inhibiting bacterial growth. This may be why you see a lot of cinnamon in use in cooking in other countries with warmer climates. Cinnamon not only does it smell good, but it can kill the bacteria that creates the bad odors. Like your feet, for example. I mean, I don't want to be at a campsite and have my shoes stinking up the high heavens. No thanks. I'm good. I'll just add a little cinnamon oil into my shoe. Not, not a lot. Just a couple drops. And, and spread it around. And it will help kill out that bacteria. It is also good for alertness, memory, and cognitive development. Now, this is good if you're trying to stay aware of what's going on, or if you're tired and you're kind of falling asleep. This Cinnamon's good to keep you awake, keep you active, keep you aware. And another good thing with that is peppermint is also good. Cinnamon can also help fight tooth decay and gum disease like the cayenne pepper before. And lastly, cinnamon oil can be used as a treatment for head lice, black ant control, bed bugs, dust mites, roaches. More importantly, it will kill mosquito larvae and can be used as an effective bug repellent which is important to remember with the whole Zika thing going on, being spread by mosquitoes, well, just put on some cinnamon oil. You're good to go. My third recommendation for your Bob is black pepper. It has antibiotic properties and can help prevent your common colds to everyday coughs and the flu. It is also useful for easing overall congestion and is useful in dental health, in fighting tooth decay and as quick relief from toothaches. Hmm, nursing pattern here. Black pepper is also important to note that it, it can be used as an antidepressant and it stimulates the nervous system and because that cognitive activity is improved. And for those that think, oh well I don't need a antidepressant right now, well Think about when shit is the fan. Everything's going to change. And whatever you have right now isn't going to be there anymore. Your friends, maybe your family, just everything will be gone. And that's prime time for depression to creep in. Next up, I have cloves. Yes, cloves. It can be used as an oil. It can be used to temporarily treat a toothache. What you need to do is dab a little clove oil on a cotton ball. You should already have cotton balls in your fire kit. They're excellent fire starters. And Place the cotton ball directly on the sore tooth or on your gums. An added benefit will be it will pull out any infection in that area.
clove tea has been shown to loosen up phlegm in upper respiratory infections. Cloves are also a natural painkiller and tack germs, so it will help you get rid of that sore throat. Clove oil can help reduce inflammation from walking, a sprained ankle, or what have you, and some even use it for arthritis, which is important to remember if you have older family members with you. Last one is cloves can be used to help relax the smooth lining of the GI tract. Cloves can also help alleviate vomiting, stomach aches, internal gas, and diarrhea. Just be careful. Cloves are strong, and it could irritate your stomach. And that's it for today. I hope you all have a great week.